What's happening guys, Cloud here, and we are going to start it off with a uh, let's play on Remnant from the Ashes. This is lit literally right after the, uh, the cutscene where you basically, uh, you basically drown. <laughs> then you come up on shore and it's kind of the tutorial, um, just kind of gonna go through it so you guys can kind of see how the game uh, plays out here. And first things first, you'll have a guy that jumps through this window here. Beat the hell out of him. You're gonna have one here and then another one that falls behind him. They like throwing their swords, so watch out for that. And then you'll drop down. You'll have two that are right out here. They do take friendly damage, so keep that in mind. So they do, they can hurt each other, so. I'm just gonna kinda run through this. Be careful of this guy, he tends to summon those guys, so. You get too close to him, the scream will actually damage you. And you can see him up there. He's gonna drop down. Just bum rush him. The tutorial's really not too too bad. There's another two that are gonna be right there. I saw that, buddy. Get out of here. This is my house. So with this this uh, episode of uh, a let's play uh, Remnant from the Ashes, I'm just going to. Uh, get all the way up until the class creation where you um, get to choose between your scrapper, your um, hunter, and then your uh, well healer. I can't remember the technical term for that. We're about to have a very bad day. Alright, that's the end of the game. It's a good thing it was free, yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing. Hang in there. Hurry up, be okay. I've actually had this game since uh, since launch, but uh, PlayStation Plus made it free for the month, of m the month of March, so... If this is something that interests you, uh, basically a Dark Souls with guns. <laughs> if it interests you, though, made it, might as well pick it up.
awake. Hi there. Whoa, take it slow. You got hurt real bad. You don't want to start bleeding again, do you? I'm Wallace. I wanted to see you. I'm gonna kind of just blaze through the uh, the uh, dialogue here. Oh, Commander Ford and Mr. Riggler found you outside. They brought you here. But they said they said Mark wasn't coming back. But he's was never mind. The commander said. Okay. Now let's go talk to Commander Ford. Um. To me, I, I tend to just call her Carol. I mean, I know her name's Ellen, but she legit looks like Carol from The Walking Dead. Well, well. Look who's awake. Same snarky attitude, too. You put up quite a fight outside our gates. I'm Commander Ford. This is my base, and it's my job to... We haven't. You will. T <laughs> but you've got. Truth is, we had to block. But I'll tell you what. You wanna first? We need with enough power the reactor. Get it running, then come back. We already lost it. Go check in with Riggs. I don't imagine you do this for us. Okay. Yeah, with it just being the prologue, I'm. Like I said, I'm just gonna kind of dart through the, uh... Hey, I did what I could. Name's Rick. Dialogue here. Well, your, uh, the blade was shot. I think I remember Ace. Oh, uh, last up. Good luck, Tim. I guess I didn't technically have to go talk to him, but... Uh, oh, the reactor's actually behind you. through this door here obviously a radiation reactor and then ace should be right up here Whoa. nearly scared the life out. uh name's ace ace cotterell that right so well it makes lucky for you would have done it my the two okay you go upstairs basically she's wanting me to just start the reactor and give her a hand so yeah, you have your, okay, it's called Ex-Cultist, which is like your, um, basically like healer, um, uh, mid-range healer, uh, basically sniper, focusing on like critical hit chance. I'm gonna go with the scrapper, um, normally in, in games like this, and I always go the hunter, um, or anything long range. But I'm actually gonna run Scrapper this time around. That should improve our odds. Get up there and start the reactor. Okay, the stairs are to your left. And you got your shotgun, and then you got your your handgun, and then you got your hammer. And reactors started, and now the root are gonna come and uh, try to stop you, and you gotta survive for about two minutes. He was at a bad spot. Right here is kind of a good, good choke point because they tend to drop right down there. When you don't hit the hit the hit the rail there, oh, that was really bad aim on my part. Get over here. Face the mighty hammer. Whoop. 
<laughs> I dodged up and over that. Nice. Alrighty. Got a minute left. Okay, so now that they kind of dwindled. Kind of go on the hunt for them. Uh, she's probably got a couple of them down there with her. <laughs> Two for one special. And she's just down there one-shotting them. Well, I guess I can't really complain. We were kind of doing the same. Hi. Get out of here. Really? You couldn't have, like, shot him, like, a second before? The last couple, just eliminate them. Now oh, she's got a fire attack, it looks like. Okay, hey, I'm actually gonna run this episode. That was only like a 10 minute episode. I'm, I'm gonna run it until we uh, get that crystal up and running. Going into the first official mission. This reminds me of like a Resi scene back to back. There. Okay, let's skip through this. Let's go check in with them. Come visit my shop sometime. I'll make sure to get. I was basically just saying, yeah, 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 thanks for your help, uh, I'll give you a discount, yada, yada, yada. Oh yeah, I'm on the upper level, I need to go down. Here. This dude's basically gonna just give you some Estus Flask. Well, not Estus Flask. They're called uh, Dragon Hearts, I believe, in this. Yeah. But it's essentially like an Estus Flask from Dark Souls, Blood Vial from Bloodborne, or uh, what are they called? Elixirs in um, Neo, or uh, what is it? The Healing Gourd in Sekiro. I do like the animation. I think that's so cool, though. Alright, and... I'm... Nope, I was going the right way. You gotta run through. That's your traveling crystal right there. And then... She's up the stairs on the right here. to see you got the reactor running. <laughs> he thinks I have a destiny, blah 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 blah. You've proven yours, but I doubt you'll last long. Go see Rig. Come see me after. McCabe is definitely a ray of sunshine. Uh, basically, you're doing <clears throat> the upgrade stuff. Hey, friend. Forward mansion. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna go ahead with the shotgun. Yeah. All right. Hey, now that's better. And then he gives us the scrapper armor. Ah, there you go. A bit sturdier. Every little bit counts out there. What a creeper just sitting there watching my dude change. It's true. You did right. If you need Aunt McCabe over. But, uh, you know, she's not much. And then go talk to McCabe. So you're the stri Doesn't make sense to me. 
apparently taken out. The board's gonna get I'm McCabe. I'm not so scrappy. Basically, party. whenever you defeat like a boss and stuff, you'll want to return to her and she'll get you like mods and stuff like that for uh your guns and stuff. So the one you got, obviously you can see on my shotgun there on the right hand side, it's got an empty circle. I have no mods for my shotgun, but I have a mod for my uh, handgun here. Um, oops, wrong way. And um, basically when you aim, and uh, I believe you have to aim and hit R1. I don't. You might not be able to do it in, um, in the uh, base, but believe you have to aim hit r1 and then that's you. what I gives you the uh hot shot mod which is basically just fire bullets founder, he said we should well okay. there's a term yeah 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 after after we get past all this um i'll slow down on like the dialogue and stuff like that Just the, the beginning here is just a little drawn out, if you ask me. And you put the key in there, and then wait until the computer goes through, hit any key. And then you want to initialize D-A-T-L-A. -A. You'll go into a cutscene. And then after you activate this crystal, that is when the co-op opens up. Where you can play with your friends and or play with randoms, however however you want to play. Read about it, but I never saw it working. This you wanna get out of here? My grandfather. And yeah, he basically what she's saying that her grandfather was the founder of Ward 13. He's trying to figure out What's going on with the root? He went to talk to the root mother and never returned. Listen. Okay, session is now joinable, and then you run up to the crystal, and you give it a good old touch. <clears throat> and then that accesses survival mode, and then um, our next episode will be covering Founder's Hideout, which is your first area, your first official mission. Um, and then adventure mode unlocks. So you may have one campaign and one adventure mode active at all times. You could go through, check the world settings. Obviously, um, campaign, which is what we're going to be covering. Adventure mode, are you looking to kill a particular boss or complete a certain quest? Adventure mode allows you to generate a shorter experience focused on a single world. Adventure mode does not reset story campaign progress. So you can have the campaign and you can have an adventure mode. And then you can always re-roll the campaign. Um, the big thing is, a lot of the stuff is randomly generated. Um, basically like the dungeons that you'll go into they kind of have the dungeons like Diablo 3 does um, that are randomly generated and no each experience is ever going to be the same um, besides obviously you know where the missions at your bosses could be different stuff like that your loot obviously um, and then you have survival mode 
which is an endless experience with streamlined progression and ramping difficulty curve based on time. A combination of speed and exploration are key to your survival. Boss experience recommended. Survival mode has no effect on campaign progress. So you can basically have each one of these things uh, running and uh, it won't affect losing, losing uh, where you are at in your campaign. But uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. And uh, if you enjoyed the content, please hit subscribe. And I will see you on the next episode.